Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here, and welcome back to Unknown Past Dorothy's Secret Ch Conclusion <laughs> in Witch's Heart. What was I saying there? I'm not too sure. Ah, oh, Claire, did you need something from me? Uh, let's play together. Then let's begin. Hit and cover rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Hmm. Maybe there's a way to win this every time. Now pick a hand. I will pick. I'll pick rock. I will attack. What? Um. Fine, I'll pick scissors this time. So I attack the the paper. I don't get this. Like, is, was this properly coded? Okay. Um. Okay, defense. What's going on? Like, you can't win. Um. That's a draw initially. Attack for scissors. So I win that time. Why didn't I win the other times then when it was like that? I don't know. Pick rat again. Defend. Exactly. Draw. Draw against that. Scissors against. Defend against that. Good. Don't attack. Don't do that. Scissors again. We just draw. So the next time around, they'll choose paper. <laughs> okay. That's that analogy removed. Stop it! This game has just had a lot of draws and one win for me. Defend against that. Don't go against the pair of scissors. We're stuck in this. There we go. Lovely. Now for our flawless victory. Just like that. There we go. Hey now, we did a superb win there. Flawless victory. No draws whatsoever. Oh my, I lost. Well then, I'll give you a present. 3,000 coins. <laughs> Play again, okay? Like, you could just farm for so many coins. So, Noel went in here to see Willardo. Noel said he had s he's having a, an important talk with Willardo, so I don't want to bother him. What about Ash? What do you want, Ash? Good evening, Miss Claire. Did you need something? Let's have a talk. But my, Miss Claire, you're strong. You defeat a big monster, right? Amazing! These two are, like, very loud together. I'm traveling as well, so I thought myself fairly sturdy, but... Um... If I have to say, I suppose I'm better at using it my, at using my head. Okay. But as a man, I mustn't give up. I must train more to surpass clear of your mighty, strong personnel. It's locked. Why is it locked? How could it be locked? That's just the, the daily schedule. Let's see what let's see what Charlotte is up to. It's bubbling with a dubious liquid. Yes, do you two require anything, ingredient-wise? Why does it always hurt to talk to these guys? I was going to meet a pathway, but my ingredients got stolen. And after I gathered all my special ingredients, oh, uh, what a predicament. Of course. This is bad, this is bad. I was going to make a stew, but my ingredients got stolen. And after I gathered all my special ingredients, what a hassle, what a hassle. I've got none of your ingredients this then. Is that what you're trying to say to me, game? Oh, was there a straw there was a strawberry there, weren't there? Firewood. Hmm can we ignite the flames? Thought so Hey Pretty Got two of those. Oh, gotta tell you something good. Sometimes things come out when you set firewood on fire. Try it out, right? 
But I just did. I just did, okay? Ah, Claire, you want something from me? I have nothing to offer. Hmm, see you. Yeah, see you, lass. If that's even your real name. Cool. I don't think we need to set aside any demons, but it doesn't hurt to look around. This is a flower bed. You can plant seeds here. But just planting isn't enough. I wonder what else they need. They need water! They need photosynthesis, which is not what they're going to get here. Lime! How are you doing, Lime? Welcome, welcome. Hello, Claire. Need something from me? I need nothing from you. I wonder if I'm today's snack. You're not going to be today's snack. Not now, not ever. Ah, Crane. I love Cranes. I love crane machines. Hey, hey, welcome, Claire. It's 100 coins or one go at the crane game. You wanna? Yeah, why not? Thank you. Okay, have fun. I'll do my best. So what do we want? I would like the medicine over there. And then down. Yay, we got it. We got it. We thoroughly got it. A moon drip. Lovely. You can say that we got that at a discount. <laughs> then if we were to buy it from Zizel, but Zizel's way is a guaranteed way. Alright. Oh. Smash these open. Smash the like button, folks. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I thought I was a moron. A little gingerbread man. Monster's child's name. Da da. Mama. My sweet child's name has finally learned to walk. Does your child have? Does your child have a name by any chance, or is it just that? Is it just this? Is it just that? Do we need to see Cyrus? I thought we need to see Noel and Wallardo, but the game will not allow us because they have a conversation that we need to adhere to. Cyrus, hmm, what is it? Did you need something from me? Can we talk? Okay, we've already seen this. There was a calamity earlier. I wasn't expecting such a dreadful monster. Truly, what is happening? What in the world is going on? What if a load of these start showing up? I know it's a lot. If that happens, I'm counting on you. Thanks. Rely on me and my swift kicks to the jawline. Storeroom. It's locked. Cyrus, can I go in the storeroom? You know what I want. Only active at night, then. Hmm. I think we've already satisfied all the demons in this particular room. The Elder is the only one I can't... Wake up? Maybe we can. Snort. What is this now? What a thing to do to your elders. Hello, Rainbow Crystal. Good things might happen if you collect a lot. You awake, sheesh kids these days. I just woke you up. The elder has awoken. Oh. Now peace can be restored back to this realm. Just this realm. Well, even if the Elder's awake, it doesn't really mean a f <laughs> You don't have a lot of faith in your Elders, do you? They might be slow, but they're full of wisdom and kindness, okay? Well, they're either very, very kind or very, 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 very the other spectrum. I've already done this anyways. Music stopped. Oh, was that what we meant to do? Take a bath? 
stop watching us while we have a bath, okay? It's not nice to peep on people while they are doing that. Zizzle. Although you probably don't know that we're there. Whew. I feel refreshed. Another earthquake. Yet another one. Another one. Ah! Another quake. Oh dear. Perhaps you should check your room first. Yes, that's right. Okay, the game just forces us into our room. That's just how the sequence goes. Whoa, things got pretty messed up. Indeed. Gotta sort this out. Whew. Glad nothing on the shelves broke. The books got pretty scattered though. All cleaned up now. Yeah. That's still not it for the day. Okay, let's see how everyone else is. Still about the talk. Did you feel the quake? Miss Claire, it's very scary how there's been all these quakes, isn't it? When one happens, hide under a table and make sure to protect your head. Eee! Fine. We'll check on Cyrus because he's unable to do manual labor by himself. He has to rely on somebody else for manual labor. Maybe I should have just picked it up later on. How you doing, Cyrus? How's your bedroom coming? Oh gosh, this again! Hello! Yeah, Again! Again! There's no end to clean this up! This is becoming truly irritating! Cyrus, are you okay? Claire, you're here at a perfect time. I'll help out. Yes, I would appreciate that. Oh dear, there's no end to this madness. There really is not. There we go. All clean. Right. Thank you very much. But still, you truly have time to spare, don't you? Hehe. <laughs> Though I'm grateful for your assistance. You don't have to come running here every time there's a quake. <laughs> I just got a little worried. And helping out is pretty fun. Hmm. <laughs> You're always grinning it up. What exactly are you finding so fun? Eh? I don't understand it at all. When you smile, it's fun. I certainly can't smile when I'm not having any fun. Fun is not in my dictionary of things that I know. Well then, think about happy things. What happy things? Say again? When I think about cake or flowers, I get happy. What in the world? I'm not as simple as you. Then try remembering fun times, say. Remembering. This is going to get heated. I do have fun memories, but... Not many I'm able to smile about. I think far more of them are painful. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Should I have not have said that? Scowling. I didn't mean to make him upset. Honestly, I'm envious of you for always smiling without a care. Do you want to smile too, Cyrus? Do I want to smile? What? Are you planning to do your funny face routine again? 
I'll absolutely never smile at that. <laughs> the pout. Aww. What's that look? Well, though perhaps there's nothing wrong with a little fun. Fun, fun, fun. What? Huh? That starts. You're scaring me a little. What are you doing? <laughs> Tickles! <laughs> what are you doing? Gucci Gucci Goo! <laughs> Stop the tickling! Stop! <laughs> That's not what I meant by fun! How stupid are you? Even if you make me laugh like that, it's just a physical reflex! <laughs> and wait, why are you laughing? Didn't you mean to make me laugh? Sorry, it was just so fun. What in the world? Don't play around with me! I have a busy schedule to attend to here. A schedule that you won't be able to understand, so therefore I'm not going to tell you, also known as I have no schedule. Cyrus? What? You should start making lots of fun memories. So you can smile lots. What are you on about? Hmm... Where the story changes sides again, I presume. Yeah, there we go. Noel thought it might be that much with Wilardo. Meanwhile, that quake was surprising, huh? Sure was. Again. Thanks for helping me clean up. But is your room okay? Well, I'll go check if it was affected at all once I'm done talking with you. Alright. So, what did you want to talk about? Right, let's get to the point. Willardo. At the end of the previous story, it looked like you were hesitating. You didn't really want to murder her, right? What wish would take you that far? A wish to be rid of that life because you have been cursed with living for an eternity. I feel as if your wish isn't an evil one. I want to know what it is. What are they? What? Do you know about the witch's heart? Witch's heart? Maybe that was too direct after all. Nah, just get straight to the point. But I feel like that's the best question to ask if I want to know his wish. I see. So that's how you're breaking the subject. Yeah, I thought I'd watch his reaction. And when I say Witch's Heart, I don't mean the storybook. I mean the legendary treasure Witch's Heart that can grant any wish. Do you know about it? The silence means yes. I see. So you came here for the same reason? Uh, no, that's not really true, but... Just so it's clear, I don't intend to have it hand it over. His resolve seems firm. If you wish something you need to have granted no matter what. Yeah, it is. I doubt he intends to change his opinion. Well, I guess that figures. He came out into the mountains for it. Plus, Wallada still doesn't know how you obtain the Witch's Heart. And even if he did know, he seemed prepared to kill Claire then. I'm betting persuasion won't be easy. V. 
then. Willardo, I don't mind if you believe what I'm about to tell you or not. What's this? Willardo, do you know the conditions for what wishes for which his heart will grant? Conditions? It isn't just any wish. To be exact, no, it's not any wish. It's a wish that you need to have a very, very strong desire for. In truth, all the wishes heart can grant are negative wishes. Negative wishes? In other words, it can only grant wishes that are detr detrimental in some way. I see. But why would you know that? Where'd you get that info? Do you have proof? I'm terribly sorry, but I don't think I can offer you any proof you would accept. That's why I said you could believe me or not. Well, alright. Either way, those conditions don't matter to me. I see. Which means Willardo's wish is a negative one. What do you intend to do if you get the witch's heart? You're not thinking anything wicked, are you? Wicked? I don't know. That might depend on your perspective. Perception is very key to understanding information, but I'm not thinking of trying to grant any outrageous wish. I just want to put an end to something that's gone for far too long. Or that's gone on for far too long. To my eyes, you look somehow very tired. Something that's gone on far too long. His life. Far too long. I wonder why. I think I understand how he feels a little. I don't know if this is alright to ask, but... Just what kind of wish are you trying to grant exactly? Sorry, but I've, have, but I've had some really bad experiences telling people about it. I prefer not to say. Hmm. Then you need to make a guess. Seeing his clouded expression, I couldn't say anything more to him. Are you going to say farewell or anything like that? Monkey Pox. Somehow, if only slightly, I feel like I understand him better. I wish he'd be willing to kill for. He looks to me like he was really suffering. Is that just a facade, though? Even though we spent such a long time here together... I'm realising now just how much I've never properly confronted them. Well, you say spending time together, but it's just been looping through the same couple of days over and over. It'd probably have been difficult to get close enough to open your hearts to each other. Especially for you, since you can only act at night. Mm-hmm. When everybody else is really tired. At least I feel pretty sure now that his wish isn't evil like my father's. However, he also seemed hard to persuade. I still don't know Ash's wish either. I don't think his wish is negative. I'm sure there's no way that everything can go perfectly. Yeah, Willardo's wish is more morbid than Ash's. Ash's wish is something of a positive because he wants to bring back people. But Willardo's wish is to end his own life because he's immortal. The time will surely come for me, but I need to make up my mind and decide. For now, I'm concerned about the quake. I'll head back to my room. Do you want to make a quick pet stop to Ash's room? All right, next, let's go look for Ash. 
who may or may not be trying to get to the back of Cyrus's room to investigate stuff. I'm thinking he might do that. It's locked. Hmm. Just as I suspected, you're going to ask Cyrus about... Let's put off talking to... Okay, so he's not there. First, I need to talk to Wallardo and Ash. Um, but where would Ash be if he's not in his room? Would he be with Claire by any chance? We don't need it, but I'm grabbing it. I don't know if it's something that just stays there. Well, he's not here, that's to say the least. The least amount that I could do is to say that that is something that is truly a thing. So you're here, Claire. Ah, Noel, it seems you were sleeping soundly all day. Did that help your fatigue? Yeah, I'm glad I could get a good rest. I like to talk with Claire, but I don't have time to. Well, Arda's there. Ash is not in his room. You've locked your own room we can't go into there. Oh, uh, dear me. So he must be somewhere else in the mansion, then. But where exactly could he be? If any... Ash is right there. There's a cat! Wah! Noel! It's a cat! Hello there, buddy. A cat? Yes! It may perhaps be with the monsters, but it's very cute, isn't it? Yeah. Be direct and confront him. Noel, are you feeling alright? Why are you so worried for me? Hmm? Let's see. I suppose I just can't ignore it. Is it really that strange for me to worry for someone who seems in poor health? Huh? Uh... Were you not feeling well, Noel? Hmm... Well, I guess that's true, but it's not strange to worry, but... No, don't trust him easily. This person was trying to kill Claire. What's the matter? Did I do something? If I've done something to offend you, I apologize, alright? That's not it. You haven't done anything, Ash. Yet. Nothing yet, anyways. Okay, just get straight to the point with that one. But he might be trying to trick me again by acting so kind. For now, I need to have a discussion with him. Can we sit down there? Okay. Well, you have a bit of a childish aura about you, don't you? Huh? I didn't even see that last... I thought that was the only thing that he said, okay? Ah, sorry. I don't mean it as an insult. As I recall, you're 23, so four years younger than me, and the same age as my sister. I see. So I'm your sister's age. Even I think sometimes how I need to be more dependable, really. It's the same for me. Even at 27, I feel restless, and I'm often told to shape up. Hey, you and Claire have a very good chemistry when it comes to being very, very happy and yappy and proactive and stuff like that. Perhaps I'm the more childish one. Hehe. <laughs> Ah, you smart, I'm glad. The reason I keep unconsciously enjoying myself when I talk to him. I'm sure it's because the way he talks reminds me of Claire a bit. Yep. You're lucky, Ash. You're cheerful and a good speaker. Oh, I'm just normal. I don't call that normal. I'd love to be an outspoken individual. I'm not great at talking or listening. So I sometimes mess up things where, like when to speak up. Yep, same here. Do you now? Yeah. You know, I was once no good either. It's called being a baby at talking to people. 
Really? Yes. Honestly, both talking and listening were never my forte. Same. I see. But because of my poor listening, well, I came to really regret it. Regret it? Oh, it's the sort of thing that can happen to everyone. Things always happen in life, you know? I get it. But you were able to change after that, Ash. That's amazing. I don't know if changed is quite the word I'd use. Well, that's true. Well, there's that at any rate. <laughs> I see. You need to ask him the question. Ah, the cat. I... Shall we go after it? Yeah. Well, you need to ask him the question. This is the last time you can do this. You need to ask him the question, okay? You need to ask him the all-important question, just like you did with Luardo. Oh, there's the cat. Okay there? Where'd you disappear to? What are you trying to do, cat? We caught it three times. What's going on? Finally caught it. Indeed. There, there. Do you like animals, Ash? Yes. Animals are honest. So I like them. No, they don't have the ability to deceive. If you get what I mean. They rely on their instincts. Oh, right, I need to ask Ash about things. Say, Ash. Do you know about the witch's heart? Witch's heart? Do you mean the storybook? No, not that one. I mean the legendary treasure, witch's heart, that can grant any wish. Ah, yes. I'm a witch researcher myself, so of course I've heard of it. Oh, well, could it be you came to this mansion to look for it? It's a famous room of which witch's heart is located in this mansion, after all. Here yeah, it is. Well, if you find the witch's heart, what would you intend to wish for? Huh? Me? My wish for the witch's heart. Personally, I think I might wish for the people I hold dear to be happy. But the witch's heart can only grant negative wishes, so... I'm sure you couldn't grant my wish with it. What a nice wish! I think it suits you perfectly, Noel. A very kind wish indeed. Hehe. <laughs> How cute. Isn't it, though? Wait, no. This cat's making me get careless. Rogue told me I need to be firm. By the way, if you found the witch's heart, what would you wish for, Ash? Huh? My wish? You want to know? Is she just going to tell me? No. Hmm, my wish would be... Well, I'd certainly like to be a billionaire. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a lie. A billionaire. Huh? For money? You'd do that for money? No. That's not it, Noel. They're both deceiving you. Eh? Noel, for something like that, he was trying to clear, kill Claire for that. Noel, that's not it. Why is this disturbing me so much? After going through all these loops, 
hadn't I wished there to be a more worthless reason, but I could at least understand. No, I need to stay calm. Money can change people, for the worst at times. Murder out of greed is commonplace. Besides, I don't know much of the outside world. Maybe it's just me that doesn't understand the value of money. That's not it, Noel. He's he's not wishing to be a billionaire. Uh, Noel, it's over matter. You've been quiet. Hey, Ash. Do you really want money that much? Ah, oh, well, I don't think it can hurt to have money. Do you need it no matter what? Enough to do anything. Enough to do anything? Not to that degree, but... Then why? What is it, Noel? You've been acting odd. If my actions have upset you, I'm sorry. The shock of it all distracted me a little. Of course he won't get what's going on if I suddenly take an attitude like this. Sorry, Ash. It's nothing, really. Noel, A billionaire, huh? Money is important after all. Yeah. But then again... If you're silent about it, it could possibly pry open the truth. Because if you don't take that bait, then they're going to question why you didn't take it. Actually, I was just lying. Sorry for the strange pointless lie. I was just embarrassed to tell the truth, that's all. Eh? Were you really? Yes, I apologise. Well then. What's your real wish? That's a bit of a secret. They're both not good. I'm very sorry for saying such means I should have had and discomforting you. Well then, I'll be excusing myself. You can't let them keep running forever, Noel. This is your last chance. He was lying? Maybe that's good. After all, that's a wish for which his heart won't grant. And surely at least Ash knows that. But then what is Ash's wish ultimately? Rogue. Ash. Talking about himself. A bit unexpected. Maybe a slow-witted one like this could be even better at finding an opening than someone clever. Mm -hmm. That's a good point there, Rogue. Very good point. Someone who's more expressive could be somebody who's better than a personnel that's generally smarter. No passing through here without Lady Charlie's permission. I can go into the other world whenever I like, Blanc. So don't you dare try and stop me. I am the unstoppable man, after all, in this case. The cycle would never have come to pass if Noel was never here. <sighs> Excuse me. So where do we go next from here? What is going to be the ultimate? Aha, Cyrus. Good evening, Cyrus. The only one out of the others that we can trust. Cyrus. What was he doing beforehand? Oh, we're still within that conversation loop. No, we're just taking a perspective of him now. Huh? It's you. What did you want from me? I wanted to talk a little. Talk? Do you know about the witch's heart? Witch's heart? Huh? Is someone there? Yes, come in. Come in. A 
demon at the door. I wonder what's the matter. Should I go look? I wouldn't. It's a cat! It's a lava cat, no need to go up there now. Yeah, I'm still concerned about Cyrus's health. Huh? You followed me? Whoa, a cat! Yeah. It looks like it's with the monster, so maybe it couldn't enter the room. Claire! <laughs> oh! Claire? It's the three again! Cute! It's a cat! <laughs> it is cute, isn't it? Hmm? All of us hungry. Was there anything we could feed it? Feed it? Hmm. Well, maybe the milk in the dining room refrigerator would do. Milk? That's right! Okay, I'll go get it. Trundle on now. By the way, about that. Don't. J j just speak of it inside the room, Cyrus. Don't speak of it out here where Ash could hear. Yeah. Could you be referring to the legendary treasure that can grant any wish? You know of it? I heard about it from Wallardo and Ash during the day. Oh, I see. I got the milk. I bought the milk. Who we'll needs some milk? Here, come get it. <laughs> so cute. Aww. Heave ho! Aww. It's so fluffy. Such nice fur. You want to pet it too, Cyrus? No, I'm alright. Huh? Do you not like cats? No, it's not that I really dislike them. But while cleaning once, a cat came in through the window and was supremely unhelpful, you see. It ate things in the room and it was <laughs> as it pleased, as though my favourite books were ruined. Oh dear. Not all cats are like that, you know. And it was so selfish and uncooperative. It doesn't think like you, Cyrus. Just who does it think he is? A cat. It even refused to eat the food I went and prepared for it. If I had to say, aren't dogs cuter? More obedient too? I see. So you don't like seeing yourself in them. <laughs> oh dear. What? What was that? What was that? Do you know what position you're in? The other one's being given room and board. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just slipped out. But saying you like a cat, I'm putting you on level with something so cute. Isn't that the greatest of compliments? <laughs> what are you on about? Haven't you been getting a bit upty? Who do you think is letting you stay here? Show me a little gratitude. I'm in your debt. I'm grateful. Pretty glad to have a bed. <laughs> well, so this is Claire's house too. And you're... No way, Noel... Noel didn't originally live here. He knows the other two quite well, but he never lived here. Yeah. And Lady Dorothy's. Ah, Claire, I'm really sorry, but there's something I want to talk with Cyrus about. Just the two of you? I understand. Well then, I'll play with a kitty on the second floor so it doesn't interrupt. Perfect. Cyrus thinks that's two birds in one stone gone. Both the annoying cat and Claire. You two got friendly at some point, huh? I'm glad. Eh? What are you getting? Where are you getting that impression? Are your eyes defective? <laughs> I often got the impression back then you were pushing Claire away. So I'm glad you've both opened up a little. 
I still believe I push you away now. Just how empty are your heads? <laughs> Happy to see you two enjoy yourselves. No, I don't understand it. I simply can't get what you're saying. Nah, not at all. Don't get what you're saying. Negative. At any rate, you want to talk to me, yes? Back into the room? Right. Good idea. So what is this about? Does it have to do with the witch's heart you mentioned? Uh, well... I'm sure it's okay to tell Cyrus the truth. Yes, it is. I know he wouldn't harm Claire. I wanted to trust Cyrus, who protected us then. Well then, I'm about to tell you something a little off the wall. Are you ready? You say that as if you haven't already been telling me off the wall things from the very day you came here. So, what is it this time? Yesterday, I saw how if Claire's identity, namely that she's Dorothy's granddaughter who used to be, live here, were exposed, that she might be killed. Do you remember that? I remember. But what does that have to do with the witch's heart? Uh, you see. Ash and Willardo are trying to kill her for the witch's heart. The witch's heart exists? Yeah, it does. And that witch's heart is embedded inside Claire's body. Embedded, you say? In other words, by killing Claire, someone can have any wish granted. Killing? Is he being serious? He did say it would be off the wall, but what are you saying, Noel? Hmm. Uh, but. I feel as if I've heard this before. I feel like I'm remembering something terrible. Dorothy. No, Nicholas. Which Dorothy? I know the truth about who you really are. You're Noel's father. The legendary treasure that can grant any wish. The witch's heart. It's your heart, isn't it? Hmm. Cyrus? Incidentally, when you say she'll be killed, by who exactly? Ash or Willardo? Eh? Those two are trying to kill Claire for their own wishes. Why do you think so, with no proof? Could you tell him about this cyclical nature? You probably won't believe this. Would you try to name me anyway? I'll decide if I believe it or not afterward. Alright, alright. I'll do my best to believe you. Tell me. Noel, I'm getting a bit used to being told these off-the-wall things. I'll make an effort to accept what you say. Well then, I'll say what I'm able to. So listen up. Right. The truth is, the events of this mansion have repeated quite a few times. In other words, they're looping. Eh? Looping? That's right. Looping? Looping as in that sort of thing? Yes, yes, that's correct. You know, 
when you'll often see in stories and fairy tales where time repeats itself. Mm-hmm. Cyrus. Hmm. I know I said I'd make an effort, but it's too unreal to really take in. Well, that figures. You can't believe me. Hmm. But do you think Noel is a kind of person that would lie? I don't know if this will prove it, but... I have information on you that I heard during other loops. Oh. Your birthday is June the 13th. Your blood type is B. You're age 22, and your hobby is reading. Your favourite novel is The Twelve Phantoms and the Detective. You recently read Tower of the White Rabbit. You said you liked the foreshadowing. Yeah, why does he know that? He's actually right. I've definitely never told Noel that. And in fact, I've never told to anyone about the books I like. Whether I believe or not aside, would you mind if I continue? So in essence within these loops, you've learned that either Ash or Willardo is trying to kill Claire. Right. For their own wishes. Hmm. What wish could possibly justify going to those lengths? Actually, I don't know that yet either. But, she's died in all of the loops. So all of this has been repeating. I don't have any recollection of that. Because your memories vanish with each loop. Vanish. But then why do you, why have your memories not disappeared if mine do? Because I'm the cause of the loop. Though it's not like I keep all my memories either. And it's because of this loop that the mansion's door won't open. What? You say you're the cause of the loop and you locked us in here. Right, I'm the cause. I'm truly sorry for getting you involved in something you had nothing to do with. Then if I'm to take everything you're saying as fact, what's going on right now is all your fault. That would be true, yes. Duh. You have to be joking with me! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So basically, your goal is to save Claire. You want to prevent the murder and save Claire. That's right. First off, how are you going to open the mansion's doors to get out of here? Um, the door will open naturally three days from now. Ah, I see. Really? Should you have told me about this? Isn't there a possibility I'd... <laughs> there has been! Accidentally! There has been that! It's any wish, correct? I've learned through past loops that you aren't a person who'd do that for his wish. I want you to help as much as you're able. You're the only one I can rely on. Hmm. I don't want Claire to die. Not again. Not again. Claire will die. Cyrus. You should start making lots of fun memories. So you can smile lots. Honestly. I can't fully believe you, Cyrus, but I don't intend to get in your way. I'll think positive about it. That's plenty for now. Truly, thank you.
Oh dear, that's come back. Noelle? Uh, sorry, I'm just... You're looking very sickly. Are you alright? Um, I'm going to rest for today. Thanks for listening to me. Right, make sure to rest. I'm not sure if there's an illness or if it's like a curse he's been given that that keeps happening to him like that. It's like his demon is trying to allow him to access the other side or something. The witch's heart inside her body. Claire will die. She'll be murdered. Lady Dorothy. Just like Lady Dorothy. She'll be murdered. That was quite intense with Noelle and um, Cyrus. Noelle again. That's Claire's room. Is it? No, it's... No, that was Cyrus's room, sorry. <laughs> it, looked, it, kind of blue, it looked kind of blue there. That's all. You're not looking so hot. Another attack? Yeah, kind of. I'm sure getting a lot lately. It's really worrying. Right. I got to talk about a lot with Cyrus. Yes, I was listening. I'm glad Cyrus seems willing to believe me. True. I'll have to decide by tomorrow whether to get Ash or Wallado's help. Yes. I wonder what their wishes are. Wishes? Hmm. Rogue? What? Hold on a sec. Come to think of it, Ash's wish was... No, I can't say anything. Rogue. Is it possible Ash's wish is another evil one, like my father's? Again with the attack. Ugh. Oh dearie me. Another powerful attack. My heart beats fiercely. I feel a strong suffocating dizziness. The feeling that my whole body's changing itself into something incomprehensible. Incompre I know this feeling well. Ugh. Eyes in your hand. Ooh. Huh? Huh? What? That's not right. I mean, the sun hasn't risen yet. Why do I look like this? It's too soon to be changing. So it's like an akin to a vampire. He can't come out when there's sunlight. That's why he only comes out at night time. Lime? Why would we be in the perception of lime? Of all the demons, why lime? Alrighty, this is the final showdown. Gotta put my all into it. Who should I start tempting this time? It's gotta be Ash, right? Can I dizzy him with his wish again and make him dance like a fool for me? Well, by having Renato finish it in the very end doesn't sound bad either. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Maybe I'll mess with Luado tomorrow. He's weak to emotion, so it can't hurt to deal with him quick. Nehehehehe. <laughs> ah, yeah, I know. Just had a great idea. Ash has been having some bad hallucinations and dreams since that instant, huh? Don't know if he's half broken or all broken, but if he's halfway there, I'm sure it'd be easier if he just got wrecked already. So how about we add a little spice to Ash's dreams tonight? 
I'll give him a nightmare. Many times worse than normal. Interfering with dreams is simple stuff. Any demon does it. I know your true nature. Out of those humans in the mansion, you're the closest to us. Out of that lot. You have the best qualities to become a resident of hell. If this were a fairy tale, I'd probably meet some awful fate in the end. You already did, Lime. Talk about stupid. Karma doesn't exist in this world. Really, who thinks it ever did? I'm well aware of how it doesn't. And even if it did, it did exist, it's nothing more than the after-the-fact reasoning. A demon knows, you know. The world isn't nice enough that some nonsense you can't even see is gonna help you out. This world has always been unbearably unfair. What, did you forget somehow? You really don't get it, do you? Are you talking to me? Just how stupid is it to dream and hope about anything? Or are you trying to chant your demon-like wishes to one of our unfortunate friends? Charlotte! The world is still hesitating about how to use Witch's heart. I mean, he's already figured out that Cyrus is on his side. Why not use the Witch's heart to kill Ash and, Ru and Ruado? I'll tell him over and over that the guy really can't make up his mind on anything. Even after all the pain it's caused him. Because he doesn't want to use it. He wants to not use it and save Claire. I feel like there'd be nothing better than getting it out of him the way quick out of the way quickly, so. Don't tell me you still can't let go. They've done as they've pleased with you, so they deserve whatever they get, don't they? Get them back from getting you. Just kill them all. Rogue. Yeah, those two are kind of very independent demons. Whereas, Zizel and Rogue have a bit more of a hierarchy. Like, they know their places in the realm. But Lime and... Lime and Charlotte are a bit of, bit of a wild card demon. He didn't initially say that. It said Lime, not Charlotte. Even though we changed perspectives, it should give that little cutscene. Ash. What have the demons done to your head tonight? <laughs> Help me, brother. It's your fault. Help me, brother! Hmm. These are the secrets behind why the characters suddenly become different. Thank you all so much for watching, folks, and we will get back to this tale in the next time of Unknown Past Off, a secret of Witch's Heart, one of her possible conclusions to the game. So have a wonderful day, folks, and take care of yourselves.